On my three year long indie game dev journey, I've created a lot of really weird stuff. I've made a video game about a pink fish that goes on a rampage and takes down humanity. And another extremely original idea about a snail that gets hunted by an AI. Games about Santa Claus plummeting down a chimney and practically killing himself. And so much more. But my very first game, creatively titled Super Worm Game, is as simple as a sprite moving around and trying to avoid another sprite. It's inspired by these Super Worm comics that I used to make when I was younger, and I'm quite happy with it. I mean, we all have to start somewhere, right? Then I made a game called Bad Stickman Dungeon. But we don't really talk about Bad Stickman Dungeon around here. So my next big game project was Super Worm Takes Flight. I know, you're just never free of these Super Worm games, are you? And we're still not done yet. But regardless, Super Worm Takes Flight was like a weird, almost precision platformer without gravity. Uh, it was actually kind of cool, the visuals were polished, I had a character selection screen, and I planned on finishing it. And then I just didn't. But I'm planning on finishing it again soon with three more years of game dev progress, so stay tuned for that. I guess back then I didn't know how pixel art works, because in the next game, Super Worm and this flyer, the pixel art is really stretched out and the music sounds absolutely horrid. Take a listen. Yeah, it's pretty bad, right? Okay, well, um, I never did that again, I promise. Uh, yeah, sorry. Then I made this. I'm not sure if it qualifies as a game, but I did make it. After that atrocity, I decided to make this. This one's a bit unique, because on top of it being the only game I've ever made in Unity, it's also the only text adventure game I ever made, but unfortunately it has some pretty big text clipping issues. I don't know, I still like the story though. By the way, if you want to play any of the games mentioned in this video, they're all in the itch.io page, which, if I'm not an idiot and remembered, then I link that in the description. See you there. Next up is the appropriately named Jetpack Dog, which is a little scratch arcade game that I made for uh, a computer science class that I had previously. I think that's pretty fun, pretty chill, pretty normal. It is really easy to cheat, though, so uh, please be a good boy and don't cheat. Thank you. So, the next big game project that I made is a game called I Didn't Miss. This one's kind of special to me because it was kind of like the moment that I realized, hey, I should probably start making more games and stuff. And I obviously did continue doing that. But anyway, it's a game where uh, it's like a retro shoot 'em up game like Galaga or something. Except the gimmick is that your bullets aren't real, but your enemies don't know that, so it scares them into dodging and crashing into each other and stuff. I think it's pretty polished, pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, and also the music in this game is weird as hell, but I kinda love it. Have a listen. Then I just made a shameless copy of Will You Snow. Video games can also make for fantastic presents to give to people, because, you know, they're creative works made by you, and they're also completely free, so, uh, yeah. Pretty neat. I made this game for my dad. I didn't want to leave any of my game projects behind, so I created the Archives, a collection of all of my smaller or unfinished game projects, which include... Then I made this game, which is one of my personal favorites. It's about patching the beta version of a defense AI for planet Earth, while meteors are already showering down on Earth. It's got a really dumb but effective sense of humor, and the music is an absolute bop. Have a listen. Then I continued my spree of copy-pasting Jonas Tyroller's ideas by recreating Pink Fishy, which was one of his unreleased games mentioned in this video. And I added in this sound effect too, to make it my own. 
Then I decided to expand that game a little bit. More on that later. I needed to add controller support to the um, <clears throat> last game, so uh, I decided to make a dedicated fighting game between the main character of that game and Superworm, because of course it's always Superworm! Here's a mini devlog. Then I made this game for a literal school project. I wish I was joking. Then I made this little clicker game where you click on a cool math games window that isn't responding until you crash your entire computer. It's kind of funny. Then I made this game where you play as an angry construction worker killing a bunch of stick figures that are running under freshly paved concrete with a nail gun. I might have a problem. I really like how you can see my slow descent into game dev insanity with every single game that I make. This one I made as a Christmas gift for the world, um, but strangely enough, they seem to just give me strange looks now. Wait, what's that noise? What is that noise? <gasps> it's mini devlog time, baby! Then I made a very simple local multiplayer shooter called Dueling Duo. I do like how the game and music speeds up as you deal more damage to the boss. I made a couple of small game dev challenge games as well, so of course there needs to be an archives for that. This one includes a game that I literally made on a Steam Deck, a horror game that I made in 10 minutes, and a strategy game, in quotations, that I made in 5 minutes. And finally, my most recent game for me to finish making, at least, is a weird little procedurally generated horror type game called Continuous Creature Corridors, or CCC for short. Not to be confused with CCC, the uh, fighting game from earlier. But what about that pink fish game from earlier? Over the last six months, I've been making a Metroidvania inspired by it. I also made a video showing the first six months of developing the game, so I'd recommend checking that out too. But there's a demo out now, and I just cooked up a new trailer for it. If you want to play any of these, and you don't know which one to start with, then here's a handy dandy ranking of them. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.